Hi, everyone. Time for another face-to-face -face confrontation. Well, any, anyway, my face is here. want to uh, just uh, fill you in on uh, some of the things that are happening. First of all, good news. It, uh, it appears that our new parking lot and driveway will be put in during the month of June. So more on that later. But I know some of you have been asking about it, and that uh, looks like it's going to become a reality. The whole thing done. So that's uh, good news. Also, the other news, although by now uh, I'm sure you're all aware of it, is that uh, we're going to be opening the evening on June 7. <clears throat> that's the, quote, Hudsonville group. But we'll be meeting here at uh, the Dean Lake building. And that's been explained in the letter that I sent last week, and I'll repeat it again in the letter this week. Then also, the morning service will be on June 14, and uh, we're going to try some new times because we know that a lot of people will stay at home. And uh, so we're not going to have the kind of turnout we would on a regular Sunday before all of this uh, virus stuff hit. So we're going to have our traditional at 9.00 and our contemporary at 10.30. And those two time slots will begin this Sunday. And even though we won't have people in the building, well, I'll be here and Mark Brackler will be here and we're people, but even though we won't have people in the building, <clears throat> we're gonna uh, have what we're gonna call a dry run. And we're just gonna run through the, the times and so forth and make sure we have all the details set. So this Sunday, tune in at nine o'clock, that will be the traditional, and then at 10.30, for the contemporary. And then those two times will be our set times, at least for the coming months until, well, we just don't know, until things change. Now, not everybody will want to come and not everyone should come. If you're feeling sick, got a little fever, coughing, stay home. And if you don't feel comfortable coming, stay home. You're under no obligation to come those of you who want to and are feeling comfortable with it, y'all come. That's okay. And uh, this week, we're going to get together with some of our staff people and work out all the details, like what doors to use and bathrooms and sanitizing and so forth. So we, uh, we're going to come back to you in the coming week with a lot more details. <clears throat> if you have any questions, give me a call. My phone number, 813 5790. I'll do it one more time, not like those commercials that do it four times. 813-5790. We are still locked down here at the building. We're still only having a few staff each day that have to come in and do necessary things. But for those of you that would like to bring your offering, we have a lockbox now. It's on the wall outside, right next to the main office door, right next to the mailbox. So if you want to bring, especially if you bring cash, put it in the lockbox. Uh, the bulletin still is on our website. The full prayer sheet, once again, if you're not getting it, you uh, request that from Beth Dart. The Bible reading cards will be coming out this week, and the uh, theme will be hope. The same theme that I had in this past Sunday's message. I uh, want to be in prayer this week for Pastor Mark and Pastor Greg. They are flying to Phoenix, uh, and that was paid for by, uh, by some people who are getting behind the whole recovery ministry and uh, interested in expanding that ministry into, uh, into new areas, which... Uh, which pastors uh, Greg and Mark are looking at because can't do Friday night right now. Maybe later on, we hope later on, but uh, not right now. So they're looking at new things and they're going to be attending a conference in Phoenix. So our prayers for them as they fly from Friday morning until late Sunday night. Well, I've planted all the tomato plants. Hang on a couple months and hopefully that we're all back, so will the tomatoes be. Good to see you. Nice talking to you and with you. And once again, if you have any questions, give me a call or email me. Thanks. God bless. Bye-bye.